Okay, so I actually had this review done um, last week and I, I tried my best to get it out, but I just, there was other movies I had to do first and then I had to get my best and worst of video out and all that sort of stuff. So anyways, that being said, I, I did read some reviews about this movie, knowing that I had my review done already. And, and I don't understand some people, like the, the, some of these reviewers were saying, I don't want to name any names, but they were like, oh, this is the most unrealistic movie in this. Well, like, okay, you'd have to be a complete fucking idiot to, to watch the trailer for this movie and think that there was anything realistic about it. Like, like what? Did, did they even write that in their fucking review as the reason why they didn't like it because it was fucking unrealistic? It's got a fucking monster in it, for Christ's sakes. Welcome to Happy Wax TV and welcome to 2021. Like I said, I had this review done last week, but I'm doing another one. I just, I had to say those opening comments about some of these reviewers calling this movie unrealistic. I'm like, are you fucking stupid? Like at what point in the trailer do you, can you, she literally gets dropped out of a fucking plane as one of the Japanese planes explodes and blows her back up into the fucking plane that she's in. How can you, what? Like, how can you watch the, how can you watch the fucking trailer and think that there's anything realistic about this movie at all? Like, anyways, I'm going to keep this one short. Listen, <laughs> this movie is, is total popcorn, okay? It's shut your brain off at the door. Yes, it's very, very, you know, it's got the strong woman element about it. Uh, you know, some guys who like to beat their chest and, only want to watch Arnold Schwarzenegger flicks. May not like this movie. I don't know. Okay, but if you can, if you can check that at the door, and you just want like you know a, a mindless, action-packed, you know, kind of a creature featurey World War II kind of movie, then you know you'll get through this movie. Okay, trust me on that one. Before I get into it, because I might get into spoilers, uh, I just have to talk about some scenes about this movie quickly. I'm going to give this one probably a six and a half. Okay, I, I didn't love this movie, but I, I certainly didn't hate it. And it's definitely worth a watch. But again, you just, you have to check your brain at the door because there is a lot of stupid in this movie that you have to accept. <laughs> I mean, just watch the fucking trailer. Like I said, she gets dropped out of a plane. The, the Japanese plane blows up underneath her and blows her back up into the, the plane that she's in. There's a scene in this movie where, <laughs> where she, she gets, okay, hang on. Let me start from the beginning here. Okay, so very quickly, um, this movie picks up. It's in World War II. She kind of cons her way onto this plane, you know, the, this flight that's, I forget where it's going. But anyway, she gets on this plane with a bunch of these, these pilots, these male pilots. She has this, this case, this leather case that she's carrying. And, you know, with the bullshit reason she gets on, she says she has to, you know, protect this case and blah, blah, blah. Long story short, the guys, she gives up the case. The guys put her in the bottom turret of this plane. Okay, and that's where the majority of the first and a good portion halfway through to the second act is where this takes place. It's a one set piece on this plane and a lot of it's dialogue. Her talking to the, the crew who are very rude to her. Um, again, this is geared, you know, to this woman empowerment style of story. And hey, I, I, I get it. It is what it is. I, I mean, I don't dislike that. There is a portion in this movie that I thought was fucking unnecessary which I will get into, but I mean, listen, I mean, how many years have we watched Arnold Schwarzenegger beat up fucking predator creatures and, and, and Rocky or uh, Sylvester Stallone do his thing and Bruce Willis run around exploding buildings. And, you know, so I, I read some of the comments about what people are leaving, you know, and about this get woke and go broke. And I get it. I mean, Wonder Woman uh, 1984 was a pile of shit, but that wasn't because like of of the, the you know it was based around powerful women it was just a shitty story it was poorly written this isn't written that well either okay but again this is way better than than wonder woman okay so if you have a choice to watch either one of the two i recommend watching this because at least this movie knows it's not fucking serious and it's so over the top and just outrageous if this if i listen i'll tell you right now if you watch this movie okay 
as a, like a midnight screening somewhere, okay, where you're, you're, you're going in knowing you're going to watch some B-style over-the-top fucking schlock fest, or you would stand up and applaud this movie at the end, okay? Because it is fucking from the from halfway through the second act to the very end, it, it's fucking bananas. The, the action sequences and stuff, you know, but getting back to it, she's, she's so she's in this, this turret. She's locked in there and she can't get out. Okay, and I, like I said, this is where the dialogue takes place. And, you know, I, I found it to be very believable up until the halfway point, okay? And then <laughs> as soon as we get the reveal as to what's in this package that she's carrying on board, and I'm going to give spoilers, so if you don't want to hear any of this, then just shut the video off. I gave it like a six, six and a half. I'm highly recommending you watch it, but there's just... Okay, so anyways, you know there's spoilers coming up, so don't fucking scream at me in the comments. But when this package is revealed that she has to, you know, keep with her, it's a baby. It's her baby, okay? And there's she's married, but she's had this baby with one of the pilots. And what they're doing is, is they're sneaking on board, and then when it lands, they're going to take off and live their life, okay? <laughs> but in the meantime, during this flight, a lot of shit goes bad. She gets trapped in this turret. The Japanese are onto this plane and they're starting to attack. And then there's this, again, this is a creature feature too. There's a gremlin. This old school, you know, like all these, these old school pilots and stuff used to have these, these stories of these, you know, these winged beasts that would attack their plane and stuff. And that's, that's what attacks this fucking plane. And it was great. I loved, I loved everything about that. It's crazy. It's over the top. The action sequences are fucking ridiculously crazy but i mean it's nothing we didn't see in die hard i mean it's it's nothing we haven't seen in a hundred other movies so you have to know that going into this and as long as you get that in your head that the story is going to be kind of subparly written but the action is going to be fucking bananas then you're going to love it i mean and it just it holds up from the second act right to the end i mean the only thing i didn't like about this movie was that the fact that there was a baby there they didn't need that and that's just my opinion some of you may disagree i just that was just too much, okay? They could have easily made the same style of movie with just her, you know, and these guys fighting these Japanese planes with all this over-the-top fucking explosions and gunfights and stuff, as well as fighting this gremlin with all the nonsense that went on. There's a scene in this movie where she literally crawls out of the turret while hanging on to the underside of the fucking plane to where this baby's hanging, okay? <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, this is, no way, no, how can, there's no way, like it's, it, but whatever, I mean, I, I googled the, the, the actual, you know, what the average speed of a commercial airliner is, and it's something like 575 miles per hour, and she's hanging on the bottom of this plane with just her arms and carrying herself around, <laughs> like what? So this movie does not take itself seriously, okay? It does not at any point in time does it take itself seriously. And that's fine because it fucking works. There's a, at the very end, she gets in a fight. It's in the trailer. She literally gets in a fight with this fucking gremlin, okay, and beats the fucking, it, she beats it to fucking death, okay? Whereas, you know how, how you know, sometimes the creature always wins or what? Nope, she's just a fucking badass and beats the fucking thing to death in the, in the ocean, leaves it there laying for dead. Then she grabs the screaming baby from the one pilot who managed to survive, goes up on top of the cliff, whips her tit out, and starts breastfeeding the baby. Like, come on, man. If that was a fucking... If this was a midnight screening, fucking, you know, people would stand up and fucking cheer and applaud and go fucking bananas, okay? Because that's the style of movie that this is. God damn. Okay, I, again, <laughs> I thought this movie was all right. Holy shit. I can't, I still can't believe reviewers said that they didn't like this movie because it was so unrealistic. <sighs> Anyways, listen, park your brain at the door, watch this fucking movie, have a big bowl of popcorn, expect to see shit that is so fucking unrealistic, it couldn't possibly fucking happen, and that'll be the point of discussion throughout this movie with whoever you're watching it with, saying, this, there's no way, this is fucking crazy, it's crazy, there's no way that would fucking happen, of course it wouldn't happen. It's outrageously a fucking... It's outrageously outrageous, this fucking movie, the shit that goes on it. Listen, Chloe Grace Moretz is fucking awesome. She was, she was awesome in, in Kick-Ass. She was awesome in, in Let Me In or whatever that fucking vampire movie was called. 
She's great, and I want to see more from her. Again, this script of this story is pretty weak, but she dominates the fucking screen, and I thought this was a fairly good fucking movie. So, anyways, I gave it a six, six and a half. A lot of spoilers, I warned you. Check it out, it's out now. I'm taking this fucking movie seriously. <laughs> Come on. Anyways, guys, if you've seen it, let me know what you think. I know there'll be a bunch of those like, oh, this movie was so fucking stupid, and I can't believe you like this style. Whatever. If you don't like it, you don't fucking like it. I thought it was okay. Just again, check brain, at door, and you'll be just fine. So, anyways, welcome to 2021. And until next time, stay scared. <laughs>